Taipei is the yin and yang of cities, where new meets old. Modern high-built living apartments and sustainable towers stand next to smoky temples and old grid-covered apartments, which were built in the 70s. Its beauty is born from a blend of Chinese, Japanese, Southeast Asian and American influences. Seen from its architecture, cuisine and courtesy of its people. Depending on where you start, you can reach within 40 minutes George's waterfalls, tea plantation hills, phenomenal lake views, mountain ranges with ocean views, or sand sculptures and beaches to chill out. Arriving in Taipei is special. You can literally land in the city. The planes fly close to buildings, strive temples, and fly over your head for touchdown safety. Located within Taipei city limits, Songshan Airport is a medium-sized airport. Tao Yuan International Airport, located about 40 km west of the city, is Taiwan's largest and busiest airport. Getting into town is easy. The airport MRT is currently the fastest way. In just 35 minutes, we reach Taipei city center. Taiwan has over 23 million people, is very densely populated. At about 650 per square kilometer, it has more people than the Netherlands, which is the most densely populated country in Europe, in a smaller area. It is more densely populated than any US state. The metropolitan city of Taipei has a total population of 7.8 million people. 2.6 million live in the city center. Furthermore, Taiwan has the highest scooter density in the world, by far. With 15 million registered scooters, statistically each adult owns one scooter. There is an excellent scooter infrastructure. Parking spots are plentiful and marked, and everyone finds its own way to deal with it. The roads and intersection design have accounted for scooters, like nowhere else in the world. Having a scooter, the pole position is guaranteed in front of every traffic light. Street cleaning, park tickets or police patrol, all done by scooter. My personal concern in this matter are unhealthy noise pollution and exhaust gases, which are caused by internal combustion engines. China, for example, prohibited all those oil-powered motorbikes. Since 2015, only electric scooters are allowed. But Taiwan is on the way. Google is reinventing urban transportation with an ecosystem of sustainable energy solutions. The network manages over 200 battery swaps a day at more than 1,700 GO stations in Taiwan. Located across convenience stores, supermarkets and parking lots, they are always on your way. The company released its third generation battery. Enjoy longer riding distance of up to 170 km with every swap. This place is warm all year around and it rains a lot. Taipei has a monsoon-influenced, humid subtropical climate. Summers are hot and humid, with typhoons and thunderstorms, while winters are short, foggy and also warm. Basically you can say, it doesn't matter what kind of weather. Rainy, sunny, just cloudy. Here it's all about having an umbrella. Always. For everything. Out of 191 countries, Taiwan was ranked as the 17th richest country in the world by Global Finance Magazine based on per capita income and adjusted for purchasing power. Taipei is known for its large number and variety of shopping streets, markets and malls and has been known to tourists as one of the main shopping cities in Eastern Asia, along with Hong Kong, Seoul, Tokyo and Singapore. Malls like the Breeze Complex, Taipei 101 or Sogo, offering everything you need and way more. 
An average monthly net salary after tax is around 1,300 US dollar. Basic income starts at 800 US dollar. Renting an apartment is quite expensive in relation to the income. Spending around 400 to 550 is pretty average for a basic 10 to 15 square meter room in a shared apartment in Taipei city center. It is possible to find cheaper places, but these tend to be outside the city. An apartment at the DNA-shaped, carbon-eating Tao Su Yin One residential complex has a price of 66 million US dollar, making it the most expensive housing in Taipei. How safe is it to live or travel in Taipei? Hands down, Taipei is one of the safest cities in all over the world, with one of the lowest crime index rates. The people accept the rules, breaking them is a no-go. Situated in the urban center, Dan Forest Park is a highlight. You can find here a huge variety of animals and plants. Taiwanese love activities, old or young. The people know, movement keeps you healthy. And they also love food. A perfect combination of that you can find daily at Taipei's night markets. They are world famous. My personal favorite are dumplings. They come with different fillings, from mushroom, truffle to shrimps. There's something for every taste. Tea comes in most restaurants for free. For all fish lovers, Taipei Fish Market is the way to go. Like a gigantic bamboo, Taipei 101 is impossible to miss. With 508 meters, this tower was the world's tallest building from 2004 till 2010. The ultra-high-speed elevator is able to run at a speed of 60 km per hour. It lifts you up in 37 seconds to the top. Until today, it is the third fastest elevator worldwide, after the Shanghai Tower and Finance Center in Guangzhou, China. This building has also the world's largest and heaviest wind damper. It reduces the building's movement by up to 40% during strong wind and earthquakes. Best views on Taipei 101 you can get from Elephant Mountain. It is a popular spot for locals to exercise and tourists for hike. If you are in a good shape, you can do this steep hike in 15 to 20 minutes. Enjoying sunsets here is simply marvelous. The National Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall is a famous national monument, landmark and tourist attraction. Surrounded by a park, flanked on the north and south, the National Theatre and National Concert Hall. A wonderful plaza to spend time and relax. When it comes down to the transport system, there is to mention, within the city a car is basically no needed. Except you want to show off a bit. Public transport is safe, clean, cheap and easy to use. I recommend to buy an easy card. 
It can be used on the MT, buses, taxis, for renting new bikes or convenience shops, paying by a simple touch. Exploring the city by bike is a lovely and my favorite way. Most MT stations and sites have U bike stations. The service is priced at 10 Taiwanese dollars per 30 minutes of usage. EasyCut users getting 30 minutes of each trip for free when originating in New Taipei City. To encourage wider use of energy efficient, zero carbon fare units. Most streets provide extra bicycle lanes, and you are allowed to use both sides of a road. So is it sharp? Yeah, action! Hello guys! So I hope you enjoyed this clip about Taipei. I lived six months in Taiwan and enjoyed it pretty much. Only the summer was a little bit hot to me. You as a local got maybe a new perspective on Taipei. For all people abroad, I can highly recommend to visit Taiwan, Taipei and of course the surroundings. They are unique, especially the East Coast, Hualien, and this is my favorite place. But I love Taipei, of course. Um, that's why I also did the documentary for you guys. Now it's your turn. Please leave a feedback. What did you like about Taipei? What did you miss maybe? And also, what city would you like to see next? If you like, please leave a like, thumb up button. I never did it. It's so annoying actually a little bit, but yeah, we need to do that, right? So to keep in touch. So come on, subscribe and tell me what city you would like to see ne next. I'm very uh, curious about it. So see you soon. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs>